Greetings from Tbilisi, Georgia. This is Burn. You know me. Or maybe you don't, but somehow you're watching this. Well, those who have been following my adventures here in Tbilisi will know that I came with certain expectations. And the French money I thought I would be receiving never materialized. And the job that I thought I had waiting for me here was not what I expected it to be. Though, I did receive a residence card out of the deal. So, I'm very grateful for that. But, I've written about these things elsewhere. And if you're curious, uh, I can give you links and you can go explore. But essentially, I crash-landed in this wonderful country. And to survive, I came up with two plans. The first was to contact the Social Security retirement folks and to see if I could get my retirement early. It took several months, but I eventually did get that money. And the second thing was that I realized I needed a more long-term supplementary income. And I did this by starting a couple of YouTube channels. These ended up not only providing for me, but also making my life here in Tbilisi rather enjoyable and meaningful. But there is one thing that they have not allowed me to do. Back in Alaska, those of you who knew me there can attest, I had a rather large library of books and music and films. I also had to leave my residence of 21 years back in Haines, Alaska. And in a frenzy of moving and packing, I had to put everything into a storage unit. And I really hoped that the money provided by the things that didn't work out would help me to get my stuff sent here within, say, a year. I had paid for a year. Well, it didn't work out. I haven't been able to do it yet. Fortunately, the things that I have done have helped me stay afloat here and life is good. But I'm missing the, a key component, and that is my library. Now, my current storage unit in Alaska ends in October. And at that point, I will have to pay for another year, which I will, at this point, this will be the fourth time I've done this. I will consider this a real waste of money. That's $4,000 I might have been able to put to something else. I could, for instance, with my own resources, save enough between now and October to get my stuff here. And I would have to pay for travel expenses from here to Alaska and back. And there's so much more. I'm pretty sure I pretty much deplete most of my resources in doing this. But then there's the big problem. I don't have a permanent place to put everything. And what I mean is that I'm living in an apartment now that meets my needs. But there are several reasons, I don't feel like going into them, why this apartment is not a place I should remain in. I should take whatever money I'm putting in here, and I can take the exact same amount, about $300 a month, put it into a payment, and in six years pay off a house. So why should I stay in this apartment? The good news is that housing prices in Tbilisi range from you know, kind of mid-range expensive to extremely inexpensive, extremely affordable. So I can actually find a three-bedroom house for $40,000 and pay it off in six years. Now, that's not going to be in the neighborhood I would most like to be in. But if that's what I get, I will certainly be satisfied with whatever I find. Uh, the more I can raise, the closer I can get to the neighborhood I would like to be in, which is this one on the side of the mountain. I love it here, but unfortunately, I just, you know, I know the houses around here. Everyone's hoping someone will come along, give them a million dollars, rip their house off up and put an apartment in. So that's not going to happen. What I do need to do is to raise essentially a very modest amount for a down payment. I need to buy a house, I need to make the journey back to Alaska, and then I need to put everything into a container, ship it here, and then set my life back up. 
That sounds a bit crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> it is. It's a Herculean task. I mean, I'm fully aware of that this is, like, insane. But I'm also... I'm going to get it done one way or another. If I don't get the money here, I will spend five more years saving up my own money and do it. Essentially, what I'm hoping is that I've built up a reservoir of goodwill with you, my friends in Alaska, in New York City, in California, in Europe, in puppetry, on YouTube, wherever else I've met you, that you will help me with this basically once in a lifetime task. Because otherwise, frankly, it's going to be a couple more years before I can afford to do it. So I'm asking you to consider helping me conclude one of the more extraordinary chapters of my life. <laughs> this, the, the finalizing the move here. I have the residence permit. I have, uh, I know my way around the city. I have friends here, but what I don't have is all my stuff. And it's back in America. And I, every time I look at that, I have to buy a frying pan or dishes. I sit there, ah, but I have all these. They're back in Alaska. They need to come here. Well, I appreciate the help I already know is out there. I know that many of you have said, yeah, Burn, just let us know. And I really appreciate that. And I'm inviting all of you, any of you, to take part in this adventure with me. And believe me, once, you know, whatever money I can raise, this is, this is not the adventure itself. The adventure is going to be going back to Alaska, packing it all, and then the part I don't know, what happens at customs here? What happens, how am I going to move this stuff? Will I be able to leave it on the street? It's just all these insane questions. But, hey, uh, it makes life interesting. And, uh, yeah, so take part in the adventure with me. Well, thanks for your time. Thanks for considering things. And, uh, hey, eh, you got a few dollars. A few dollars for you goes a long way for me here. So throw it in. Thanks.